so the country has been gripped by this gruesome murder of uh, this girl in young girl in Delhi, uh, Shraddha Varkar, and her boyfriend Afta Poonawala allegedly chopped her into 35 pieces and scattered it over 18 days in a jungle. So, where are we falling as uh, the judiciary system is concerned? See, today we must realize a judge or a magistrate in our system, unlike the civil law system in Europe, has no investigative powers. So a good, effective criminal justice system is only as good as its powers of investigation. The political control over the judiciary, despite a judgment of the Supreme Court in Prakash Singh, I'm afraid, continues. It is deep, it is pervasive. And on many occasions, it puts the people who are under investigation in charge of those who are investigating. And that's where a huge conflict of duty arises. We have had so many, so many formats suggested. If you ask me, I mean, this is a discussion, whole discussion for a whole evening. The Indian Police Act was made by the British, where a handful of white officers were made IPS. And the rest, the, the constable was the native policeman. That created a complete mismatch between the two parts of the police. Modern India has no place for a police act like this. But again, it's vested interest. If you want to change it, again, you'll have groans and moans of interfering with the police. We need to revamp this. There are models in the United Kingdom. There are models of the United States, which is federal. We need to follow that. And we need to have a complete, we need to remove criminal investigation from street policing. CID, criminal investigation, has to be a completely separate branch. It's a skills. They cannot, a, a criminal investigation cop should never be asked to go and do roster duty on the street. Once we achieve that and you remove them from political control, then you will see how all this improves. I mean, this is not the first time that we, we've uh, come across such a, a gruesome, cold-blooded murder. But what is it? Like, I think, uh, is there the absence of uh, fear of law or the fear of being punished? See, crime, you must realize, <clears throat> in countries with the most effective criminal investigation system, the United States, mm -hmm. one of the most powerful, crime is committed. So crime, and this kind of crime is a crime of aberration. To be able to do what this man did going by the few newspaper reports I have seen. The man was obviously mentally very different from what you and I are. I mean, to be able to live in a, right. in a situation in which he was. So, crime will always happen, but yes, there is a lack of the fear of law in India. Nation Next, News Hub for New India.